Welcome, and it's really good to be here with you for this transmission of Lightworker Light Words in August 2024. But before I go there, I just want to remind you of the fact that we've just created the Angels of Atlantis Club for you. And so please become a member for a very, very small fee, cheaper than a cup of coffee. You can actually gain all sorts of initiatives that the angels want to impart to you. So please come and join us. And of course, thank you for all of your comments and all of the wonderful conversations that you open up on YouTube. And of course I answer them because it's wonderful to receive all of your commentaries. So here is the transmission. And just to begin with, I'm going to prepare myself. And so just give me a moment so I can feel through meditation the angels coming through for you. They are already here, they're clustering, but I just need to open up my channel. Greetings, beacons of light. The energies are lifting, the veils are parting, the stargates are opening, and the light code infusions that come forth are now evolving for you as keys. And we, the angels of Atlantis, are just delighted to be here speaking with you in this time frame of August 2024. For we love you deeply, we support you keenly through our emissary Stuart, and we see your courage and your endeavor. A powerful dialogue is happening between the nature of human endeavor and the supernatural aspect of the spiritual advancement of the cosmos. And of course, you are a cosmic creator and nothing can stop this. Those of you who walk in love and compassion with the ancient traditions of old, those of you who feel the sun and moon in the very pulse of each day, those of you who feel the flow of water and magnetism in the flesh and the waters of the earth, those of you who feel the stars deep within yourselves, those of you who breathe the honoring of the Gaia and all her sentience, you are creating a communion that fuses your lives with that of the divine. We know that you earth dwellers are experiencing rich changes in the currents of your planet, particularly feeling the vast change through the geopolitical sway of common opinion. Yet remember, the opinions you hear are at present merely the babble of the status quo, and they appear only as pixelations of ideas frothing from the disturbed, fearful force that exists within the collective consciousness. These opinions are not worth the air on which they soar unless there is factual meaning pertaining to a graver substance. You see, opinions are the linguistic of a strangulated society bent on an attempt to find freedom in speech. They mean nothing when they force the speaker to express their thoughts dressed merely as illusions. Yet the facts of your world, the sequences of literal truth, are the very veracity of your experience. And this integrity will redeem all of this terrible chaos, for it will help to build a clearer speech for your future. We are so glad to be with you. We are so joyous in our quest to share with you our grace. For we hold such love for you, and we share this love via this light work and light words transmission, as with all other communications for you. We share with you what we feel you need to know at this point of your ascension. For when you savor the world and its healing as we do, you will save it. We are aware 
that the pulse rays we extend to you through our emissary Stuart are bringing you into the qualities of our rich loving. And we thank you for being here. For the grace and love of our sharing will uplift and expand your light workership. We see this in you and please know how much we are in support of you 24-7. All you have to do is call upon us. We are here for you and this is a tumultuous arousal. And so we ask you to share this transmission with your friends, with your colleagues, with your family. Bring them to our communion, for we wish to help them as we wish to help you too. Imagine you are a dynamo of infinite splendor and know that the voice of the Mother Father God principle is the voice of your heart. For your heart is the USB port into the source force. The stargates are now opening. They've been closed for many thousands of years. They were closed because of the dense karmic patterning within the vibrational field of your planet. And now this energy is elevating as you bravely burn off more of your karmic imprints, as you truly move into the spiritual sovereignty of the great I am presence. For you human beings are beginning to enjoy yourselves as a spiritual experience within the infinite of the divine. This is your seeding. This is your divine blueprint. This is your destiny. And this is your triumph. The stargates are opening. And the star mothers who guard the gates, who hold the keys for these gates and have done throughout the millennia, are relieved of their task. For they have opened to a greater magic by creating for you different means to help you evolve. Know that you are evolving rainbow light codes. And these will help to alter the gestalt of your karma. These codes will transform the dense force of cause and effect. And it will change. You will change into a new gestalt, into a new mental patterning of the Dharma. For you see, Dharma activates positive behavior that lives in accord with divine order and thence with a new social morality that you will create. Dharma makes life within the universe more greatly even, more greatly just, whereas karma merely denotes the negative mental, emotional and physical actions that create the dire consequences that you have experienced, particularly in relation to the chain of cause and effect. So these conversions that are occurring as the stargates open bring the old pattern of behavior through the division and separation into a convergence within unity consciousness. So remember, the eye through which you see God is the same eye through which God sees you. Therefore, your eye and God's eye are really one eye, one seeing, one knowing, one love. And this is the all that shall be forevermore as the all that is. Please know this and feel that the stargates are opening. And so we hear the Pleiadian High Council in the constellation of Taurus. The Council has arisen to help humanity make an evolutionary leap. This is new, and this is the experience that you're feeling deep within you of peace and unity and love and grace. It is the love of your spirit that matters. And so the veils are parting. And so they see your transcendence. And this will move you beyond time, space, and weight beyond the physical and beyond the challenges that exist on surface level in weight, space, and time. This is all changing. Feel their love. Feel 
their intelligence. Each of you has a unique calling. Each of you has a unique purpose in all of this. And so do not propagate the old myth of scarcity through division. Instead, reach into the wonder of multiplicitousness and abundance so that you may see your new path and your new purpose. And this will bring such high levels of joy and fulfillment that you will move into flow with the universe's pulse and its desire for you to follow the everlasting truths. These truths you know well. They are love, compassion, truth, beauty, goodness, and unity consciousness. These are the jewels that transcend all borders. The goal of these iridescent jewels is to achieve ultimate freedom, so that you will all live through inner peace and inner serenity, having translated the desire to be within a field of craving, a field of materialism. And the Pleiadian High Council are speaking to us of this for you, for as the stargates open, there is an urgency on planet Earth, for a conviction is born, and as conviction is a force multiplier, so they wish to step in. This is unique. Please hear us. They wish to be beside you. There are 12 in order, and they wish to come to amplify the conviction of unity consciousness. So please work steadfastly to focus on unity and not division. Stave any irritation, frustration, or anger. Let the energy go and let this divine emergence appear within your heart, within your mind, and within your actions. For the Pleiadian High Council wish to be your co-creators in the wonder, the beauty, the love, and the magic of your ascendancy as you create a brave new world. So please let them step in to be with you. The Pleiadian High Council and the Stargate Mothers of Sirius ask you to investigate the energy that defines the very essence of your existence. For energy is the existence of all that exists. It is its essence. And they are particularly highlighting the vow you made of interconnectedness that lies within your heart, as it is this that will bring the wonder of your next move into the fore of your consciousness. We speak of this urgency because it is the next step. It is the next step that you are processing. So do you feel this and are you ready? For this will be a quantum leap. And of course, in the organization of your contemporary science, what we're speaking of is something that is called entanglement. We angels unify with the Pleiadian High Council for the ease of this transmission. Feel us unifying. Feel our love. Remember what we are referring to through the force of entanglement is the way that particles, even if separated by huge distances, impact on one another. And so, your thoughts and feelings in parallel are immensely powerful vibrations and they travel across the space-time continuum. They flow through the network of light that exists and unites all multiverses. This is why we are asking you to be scrupulous about your thought, word and deeds. And of course, it is your chakra system that will stimulate and project this light. And so we and the Council and the Stargate Mothers are giving you these keys to unite and therefore to give you the vibrations in these moments that will harmonize and cleanse your 12 chakra system. Can you feel your chakra spinning? Can you feel your pranic cord open? Dear ones, dear star seeds, dear light workers, 
You are living in connection with divine flow. And this is primarily found through your breath, through the pranayama of the Holy Spirit, and through the waters of your being, which is why you chose to be alive and incarnated on this planet of water. So as you breathe, ritualize opening your chakras, cleanse your chakras, chant and tonify your chakras, and please use the sounds that our emissary brings forth for you during, for example, the experience of each enchantment on each full moon reverence. He brings forth this network of grace, and therefore you chant along with this extraordinary process of opening your chakras. And do not forget that he has also, for us, produced recordings for you. And this is why we ask Stuart to create them, that through his devotion, you too will feel the magnetism of reverence and veneration and a little bit of discipline. So please come together as a communion of light for the enchantment on August the 19th and this will cleanse you, this will open you as a celestial propagator and then you will find a greater ease to connect with your intuition which will lead you to your purpose and your sacred seership and these will interconnect with all that we suggest for you. The Pleiadian Council are working with you to expand your chakras and your auric field right now. This is critical for your well-being as you ascend, as you move forward, as you see yourselves as fifth dimensional beings. And the major ways of cleansing and revitalizing within your field is through chant, is through sound. For sound is at the core of creation. And also, of course, through smudging with sage or frankincense and through prayer and thereby you will open up those secret tablets within you of gratitude and appreciation for these vibrations open your mindset to connect and boost your force with the alignment of universal law they will align your heart and all of its fiber optics within the whole of the cosmos. Can you feel this? Please feel how your heart within you is open right now. Ah, oh, awakened star seed, yield to the records of your cosmic genesis. For as you open your heart, the transmission of force is commingled with the council, commingled with us, we angels, we twelve from Atlantis. And therefore, you will feel these energies like stardust on the breath of the universe. And so hear us, hear we angels of Atlantis, as we join, say, with the Pleiadian High Council, for they have this message for you. Children of the stars, your time has come. Your moment has come. Awaken, dear ones, we are with you for we love you and we catalyze all for you with your angelic guardians. Feel the pulse of the cosmos within your pulse. Breathe in and out with the cosmos for we reveal the secrets of your mission like a sacred talisman emerging from your hearts. This will come to you through vision, through dreams, through synchronicities. And remember, you are not just viewers of this cosmic dance. You are spiritual creators of its very divine progression. Feel how the internal compass of your heart stimulates kindness and empathy, activating your intuition, activating your seership, leading all whom you know and all who pass by you to the path of enlightenment. 
Remember, you are involved in a mighty metamorphosis, like a caterpillar unfolding into a beautiful butterfly. And you will feel and you will smell, see, hear and taste this complete interweaving with the multidimensionality of all consciousness. We promise you this, and therefore connect with your higher self, not with your lower self, for it is existing your higher self beyond time and space and it alerts you to your entirety. It alerts you to the divine wisdom that you have wrought through countless incarnations. And we leave you now, even though we will be within your field, we leave you now with such hope and with a desire for the riches of your earthly transformations. Remember the test of you as a love warrior has arrived to move the fabric of the universe apart for a greater realization, for a greater truth, a greater love and a greater joy. And so we leave saying, Namaste, Namaste, Namaste.